Now, for everyone who hasn't seen the show, tell us a little bit about your specific characters. Okay. Uh, well, I'm Dina. Well, I'll t- no, I'll tell you about her character. Let's do oh, let's do that. That's, That's fun. Right. Uh, Lauren plays Dina, who is the number two manager of the Superstore, assistant manager, who really desperately wants to be number one, total control freak, uh, and a little bit man-hungry for our lead, Ben Feldman. That's right. And Mark plays Glenn Sturgis, who is the store manager, who is the number one of that store, who Dina desperately wants to dethrone so badly. Uh, He's a kind man. He's a man who believes in in the Bible and in uh, fostering a lot of children that maybe he goes beyond his means to do. Um, uh, Which is why he drives Uber. Which is why he also drives Uber on the side. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, you get a script like this. What was going through your minds when you first read it? I mean, what... It's something fresh. It's something new. And I, I would like you guys, I heard you guys talking about before, it's authentic. It's real life conversations and situations where you guys get to have a lot of fun. What was the script like? Was it something you For me, to oh, for me, when I, I read a lot of scripts in pilot season and that one stood out so immediately as being not only the best script, but this part I was like, Nobody else is going to play Dina. That, that's my part. So I, I just, like, I became, like, so obnoxious. Just, like, calling my reps, being like, when am I going in? And they're like, we got it. You've called six times. Um, so for me, it was just, like, from the beginning, I was like, I just feel like this is a show that's going to go to series. I feel like it's so smart and uh, so funny that it was, yeah, it's a, amazing to be a part of. Yeah, I, I read the script and I and I just felt uh, that click that you do when you read something that's completely right for you. And I, I, I didn't even get to like, be in the room. I had to audition on, on tape, basically, and send it in. And then, uh, and then the, and the, the producers liked it. But then, did you notice when they were going to network, they went, uh, we can't hear the reader. We want to redo it. And I'm going, no, I gave a really good idea. Were we doing this for the this. reader? Were we doing this for the reader? <laughs> well, we're looking for some voiceover talent, no, so no. we'd they love say, to have yeah, that off-camera voice. Yeah, but it could be a factor, voice. you know. The, they, could they be can't a hear the factor. Reader. And I was like, I was freaking out. And then, because uh, I didn't want to redo it, because, you know, yeah. you've given that one good one. Did you have to test? You didn't. See, for me, I had to do four auditions. Right. So not I did one good one, and then Knowing I did it again. Did you have to do four, four auditions. auditions. Yeah. Four, yeah. Yeah, but the last one was full of executives, and they all laughed really hard, so I was pretty cocky walking out of there, That's which could have led to a yeah. really big fall, yeah. but luckily it didn't. What is it like on set? I know we hear that 90% is you know script, but we get a 10% a little improv for you guys. I mean, how do you guys shoot a full day with the amount of characters on this show? Well, uh, usually Dina and and uh, uh, and Glenn are arguing, so they just you know roll. Sometimes I'm sure one day we're going to turn around and the crew will have gone home. <laughs> <laughs> we literally will go as long as they let yeah. us. Like it's not even a joke. It's yeah. just like we'll keep going and going and going. Yeah, you know, like they've been really good to us about letting us. You know, we get the it as scripted, and then we're allowed to improvise and and do different takes. And us specifically, like, really Thank love to just go yeah. and go. Yeah. Um, and there's a great episode coming up where Amy and Dina go on a road trip, and America and I when we were filming we were filming in my tr- in a truck and we got the scene and then America was like let's just turn on the cameras and keep going so we literally like we had done our work we it was in the in the can but we just wanted to keep improvising so and we did some of that yeah. Absolutely. It's a there's always hour. good stuff yeah. there. Yeah. It's a weird thing. It's like there's, even though like they're 12 hour days and you're shooting, it's like some days nobody wants to go home. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. a good thing. And the last question if you guys could switch characters with anyone on the show, who would it be and could you give me your best impression? Um, I think it would probably be Cheyenne yeah. because <laughs> I don't know how hot it is wearing the fake pregnancy belly, but I'd like to give it a shot. That's my best Nicole is Cheyenne. I would do good? you. That was really good. <laughs> I'd, I'd do you. God damn it, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> it's on point. It's, it's on it's point. On point. Yeah. Awesome. And when can everyone check the show up? Monday nights, 8 o'clock, 7 central. On the network that's called NBC. NBC. Bong, bong, bong. Thank you guys so Thank much. You.